what are you doing? You are soaking mango inside gutter. Oh, God will punish you people. You are soaking mango inside gutter and you bring it out and you sell to people, right? God will punish you people. God will punish you people. God, all your faces are going on internet now. You are buying rubbish. You people are buying nonsense. Gutter, gutter, everything from inside gutter. And you are selling to people in front of Dimatel in Agungi. This one are the reason we don't allow these people to sell on the road. But you see us reading there, we say government is wicked, government is dark, government is this. You can see what is the head after exactly. that this guy is doing. You should with eradicate us. this. This is a potential honestly. death for anybody that consumes this. Honestly. You, know? you can see this, this is a potential is death. This is a potential death. Oh no. But when you start to read them and judge them from the road, you say, God made this wicked, God made this necessity, God made this 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 Go and take your tape. You said this coronavirus. Please, please, let's let's maintain some space, please. Oh, okay. Hello, hello. <laughs> Oh my god, these people are heartless. Look okay, you have a friend all of bring her mango. You're washing mangoes inside butter. How now? Oh no, inside this coronavirus thing. This is wickedness. Oh no. Oh. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. You will never know luck like again. Amen. Amen. This is promotion. Amen. Amen. She has paid the price. Amen. Amen. Come. I'll come ahead and do a paradise. Amen. Amen. Stand up. Amen. Madam, welcome. Okay. Are you with them? Yes. 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 Okay, so hand over. Please, hand over, stand over. Please. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. This is the father of Lady and the mother. Property. They are on the officially handing over. Omega Power Ministry. To so you, it is now your property forever. I made a promise that I'll give them a house in one of the estates to stay. But on second time, I said, come, why not give them a whole estate instead of giving them? So, so that's why I decided to give them this, this mini estate. It is permanently theirs, about uh, 14 flats here. They will rent it, collect the rent, it's their own. I, I can see I've done the deed transfer. I've signed, I've handed over to them. Everything is theirs. Oh, so, so now they even I just 
they just informed me that tenants are started coming, we want to rent the place quickly. So it's just forever. Daddy, please, could you give an advice on um, the state of the security in Nigeria? Uh, we just need love. Love is the primary thing. We don't need to kill ourselves. We are created by God. Whether you're a Muslim, whether you're a Christian, we are all created by God. We are flesh and blood. It's not a different God that created Muslim, it's not a different God that created Christian. It is one God that created Muslim and Christian. Let us live in peace. And I'm telling you, if we live in peace, this Nigeria will become the best in the world. If only we can just live in peace. Stop killing each other. Stop killing each other. Let us tolerate each other. Tolerance. No matter what, tolerate each other. I see this, see this girl now. This girl was the hope. They, they said that to university with their last money so that this girl can become something. But now, you know, she, she's, she, they just took her life. But thank God for God's intervention. But right now, I don't know where is the son. Uh, 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 where is he? Okay, that's it. So I didn't only, because I gave all the children scholarship. I didn't stop there. His own, I'm sending him abroad to go have study. So, <laughs> uh, see, the, see, the, see the death of the border have blood blessing to this family because well, this is just part one we're going to part two now so you see what the church have used the offering and tithe to do for this family because she died in faith she de died defending her faith she died defending the, defending Jesus Christ so that is why Jesus Christ cannot abandon you your parents can abandon you your friends can abandon you your neighbor can abandon you Dr. Jesus can never abandon you. So that is why Dr. Jesus has packaged this thing to give others hope. No matter the persecution you're facing, keep trusting God. God can never abandon you. Now, God has this situation to promote them. After this, now we're going to part two so that you can see. Now, this is permanently there. Now, sign everything. It's theirs. And we're going to part two now so that you can see what Dr. Jesus you know, use the offering and tithe to do for this family. Please, thank you, thank you very much. was Jesus in the Quran Jesus is called Nabi a prophet but then he was more than that he was a Rasul 124,000 prophets Nabi 315 Rasul messengers so Jesus was a Nabi and a Rasul like many prophets Muhammad was a Nabi and a Rasul Moses was a Nabi and a Rasul Isa uh, Nabi and Rasul. But there is something about Jesus. I have looked and I have not found this title except with Jesus. In the Quran, Jesus is referred to 11 times with this title El Masih. El Masih, El Masih. El Masih. Eleven times in the Quran. No other prophet called El Masih. Now, what does Christ mean? What does Christ mean? Anointed. Anointed. Muslims think that Christians take their name from Jesus. They don't take their name from Jesus. They're called Christians. They take their name from the anointed one. In Hebrew, it would be Messiah. Jesus is the Messiah. Do Jews believe in Jesus as a prophet? No. Do Jews believe in Jesus as a Messiah? No. Why don't they believe in him as a Messiah? Huh? Why? Why don't they believe in him as a Messiah? Because why? Huh? Huh? No. No. Yes. Yeah. He didn't do the job of the Messiah. 
the Messiah was supposed to come and bring peace on the earth. He didn't do it, so he's not the Messiah. But why must Jesus come back? This stuff is good, man. I mean, really, honestly, this stuff is, this is delicious. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you about whom we worship, whom the Christians and the Muslims and the Jews worship. Because Allah said in the Quran, uh, Ilahuna wa ilahukum wahid. Your God and our God is one. Our God and your God is one. There's only one God. We, 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 sometimes we get it wrong, you know. Why? Because we're people of faith. We believe. We believe, you believe, and we believe. Now, Allah says in the Quran, وَلَكِنَّ Allah يَفْعَلُ مَا يُرِيدُ And God does whatever He wants to do. You believe that? Now look throughout history and see how Allah, God, has saved His prophets. Moses, He saved them from Pharaoh in a miraculous way. He saved the children of Israel, they went across the Red Sea, and He drowned Pharaoh and the uh, his soldiers. Look at Abraham. Abraham was about to be thrown in the fire. And Allah ordered the fire to be cool. Abraham didn't die in the fire. Why? Allah does what he pleases. Everyone tonight agrees that God can do whatever he wants. True? He has the power. But hasn't God Almighty allowed some prophets to be murdered. It's in the Quran. Some prophets were murdered. It's in the Torah. It's in the Bible. The cousin of Jesus, what was his name? Yahya. Uh, uh, John. John the Baptist. It's reported that he was murdered. He was beheaded. Other prophets had died. God not able to save them? Of course he was. He was able to save them, but he didn't. Why? For his reason. His reasons are beyond us. This is what makes him who he is. We, you know, I was uh, uh, at an airport, and um, I had just come back from, uh, from a trip in the Guadi Airport, and I got a cab, and the cab driver was listening to a, a radio station, and a, and a preacher was preaching, and I'm listening to the sermon. And the preacher says something like this. Well, if, if I were God, I would have done it this way. And I said, no, if you were God, you'd do the same way God did it. Because that's what making God. You, you see? We, I mean, we're right. We're so why did God do it that way? Not only did Allah save Jesus, but he saved them in a very special way. He raised them up to himself, and Jesus is in heaven. One of the things that Jesus called in the Quran, and by the way, I'm working on my conclusion. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, we're about to land soon, so make sure your seatbelts are on. Allah mentions in the Quran, إِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٍ لِسَعَةٍ That Jesus is a sign of the sa'a of the hour. Jesus is a sign of the hour. And according to our tradition of our prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, the day of judgment will not happen until there are some signs. And one of the signs is the return of Jesus. Muslims absolutely believe in the return of Jesus. Jesus has to come. Why? He has to fulfill the Messiah. He has to come, and Jesus will be a just ruler. It's there. We believe it. See, we're not hiding it. Jesus will come to this earth as a just ruler. Why? He's al Masih. He is the Messiah. And it will come about, and Jesus will come about, and he's not going to teach a new teaching. It's going to be the same teaching that we have, the teaching of the last book of Al-Quran. And Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him, will bring about justice on this earth. And according to what our prophet taught us, peace and blessing be upon him, there is no more difficult trial to human beings than what is called ad-dajjal, what you call the Antichrist. 
the Antichrist is real. He will bring havoc on this earth, called the Antichrist. And lo and behold, who will put an end to the Antichrist? Is Jesus. Is Jesus.